Hello, Phil and the rest of our friends at Maine Medical Center in Portland, Maine. My name is Philip Rulo with RuleTract. This is the obese patient design RuleTract retractor we spoke of. I'm going to go through uh, very quickly how to set this equipment up because it is a little bit different than what you're used to. Okay, as you know, we did decide to send a whole set. Uh, so what I would suggest is to have sterile processing label this as the rule tract obese patient set or something along those lines. So when you have a large patient on your schedule, you can call for this particular tray, the rule tract obese set. And when you do get that tray, you'll have everything that you need in the tray. So let's go ahead and set this up real quick. You can see the difference here is this clamp is a, uh, just a clamp. It doesn't have the post welded to it. So it is a little bit different. Uh, so what you're going to do is go ahead and just put this clamp on the bed at the same time that you would uh, the clamp that you currently use. Or if you want to, you can put this on before the patient comes in the room like a stirrup holder and then cut a hole in the drape and put your post down into the drape uh, when you're ready for the post, if that's something that you would do. But for the purpose of setup, let's just go ahead and put this on the bed rail right now. Now I put it on the bed with the tightening knob on the top. You can invert it, put it onto the bed with the tightening knob on the bottom. It works either way. It's called a combination clamp. Now when I put this on the bed rail, I squeeze the jaws closed and I hold them closed and then I turn the knob. That gives me a better purchase on the rail. I would do that with any roll track clamp, but certainly with this one. So I'm holding the jaws closed. I'm tightening the knob as tight as I can get it. Now very important when you put your bottom post in, it's very important that the bend in the bottom post goes away from the bed. Obviously we're trying to provide space here uh, that you and I had talked about. So when you put this in, it has to be with the bend going away from the table. Then there's a wing handle here. You go ahead and just tighten that wing handle a little bit. It doesn't have to be real tight just tight enough to provide stability for the bottom post. Now you're going to put your top post on and obviously you want this part of the top post going out over the patient. So go ahead and set that on to the bottom post. Turn it a little bit, make sure it's properly seated. If it's not, it'll spin. So let's go ahead and make sure that's properly seated. Next, you're going to take your extender bar. I think you guys have extender bars already but you're going to put this on again to get right over the center of the patient's sternum. Now as the patients get bigger, obviously their sternum's moving further away um, from the side of the table. So the extender bar is going to allow you to reach that sternum. Will you need it in all cases? Maybe not, uh, but it's good to have. Then of course you put your ratchet assembly on. The surgeon's going to place it wherever they think it needs to be. And then your rake plate, which is obvious. So that's the setup of the new RuleTract Obese Patient Retractor. Uh, again, I'd like to come out for a case, see it being used if I could. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, email or call me. Thank you for your support. Have a good day.